Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative and today we're talking about how you can add parallax scrolling to Squarespace 7.1. The parallax scrolling feature is when the background image moves at a different speed than the content on top. This feature is really popular on modern websites because it's it's really cool, it's really beautiful, and it was a huge hit on Squarespace 7.0 Brian templates. But the problem is Squarespace retired this feature when they brought out Squarespace 7.1. I'm not really sure what they were thinking, but after this long, it seems like they have no intention of bringing it back. So if you're looking to get parallax scrolling on your Squarespace 7.1 website, or at least some type of movement, you're in the right place. We're gonna dive into all of the different options from custom coding parallax to some alternative built-in animation options, which Squarespace now offers that you may have missed. So let's dive in. So option one is custom coding parallax scrolling for your website. And this one actually isn't as hard as it sounds. Well, it would be really hard, but thankfully we have Chris from Schwartz Edmonston Web Design and he has created a free parallax code for you to essentially copy and paste and use on your website, which is amazing. I actually used this code for a long time on my website when I had parallax and it worked really, really well. So uh, if you're not scared of custom code, this one is pretty simple. Like I said, it's essentially copy and paste, but if you do want to customize it at all or you know make any changes to it, you may need some custom coding knowledge. So this might be a little bit complicated to DIY but there's no harm in giving it a go. I recommend reading this full post first because he does have a couple of separate codes here. I remember one worked better than the other. So just read the whole post and follow the instructions carefully. And from my experience, this code works really well. So thank you so much to Chris for this. But if you are scared of the custom code or you just want to avoid it, fair enough, there are a couple of other built-in options which you should definitely check out. So our second option is the banner image effects. This is a really fun Squarespace feature that I think they released it to sort of soften the blow of removing parallax images because everyone was really upset by that. And while it's not exactly the same, you may find that it's perfectly sufficient for what you want, or you might even discover an animation that's more exciting than parallax. So I'll show you now in Squarespace 7.1, click edit on your page, and we'll just use this built-in banner as our preview example. And we're gonna click on the little edit icon to edit the section settings. Then click on background, which is where you have your background image uploaded. And you'll wanna scroll down to image effect. These are image effects that specifically affect this background banner image that you're working on for this specific section. So this is really cool. There are a lot of fun animations you can choose from here. So feel free to have a play around and play with the different animations. You can see the liquid effect or the refracted lines. It's sort of probably hard to tell when you're looking at my video, but if you did want to get something as close as possible to parallax, you'll want to choose the tilt feature. So you can see when I scroll, you might not be able to see very well, but definitely try it out for yourself. It is moving very similar to how Parallax did. The movement isn't quite as severe, but it is just a really simple built-in option and you can avoid using any custom code, which is really nice. Just a word of warning when you're using lots of image effects around your site though, is that sometimes they can make it very slow loading when you're in the editor. This is just something I've noticed and I'm not sure why it happens, but if I do have a website that has quite a few banner image effects applied. Sometimes if I'm working on a specific page and there's a few on there, I just disable them while I'm working on the page because they can make it a bit laggy. So that's just something to be aware of. If your website does start performing quite slowly while you're in the editor, just flick this off and then come back and turn it on later before you set your site live. So have a play with those and see if you can find something you like. I think some of them are really, really cool. Some of them are pretty random as well, but there's probably an animation in there to suit anyone. The third thing we're gonna talk about is actually banner art. So this is a very new Squarespace feature. It's a little bit different. I don't really know why they added it, 
is actually pretty random, but it's pretty cool as well. So this option doesn't use images. It actually just uses the plain color palette from around your site. So it is obviously very different to Parallax. It isn't really a comparison. This is just something else that I wanted to show you, which you can use in your section backgrounds, which is really cool. So to check it out, just scroll back up to where we were before. And this is where you would normally upload your image. For art, we don't actually need an image uploaded. You can either delete it or just leave it and click on art across the top here. And you'll get a bunch of these different options. At the moment, there's only six, but once you actually click on the options, there are more options within those different art selections. So you can see across the bottom here, I have three selections I can choose from, which actually changes the images that are in the background. And then also there's this little slider button. If you click on that, you can play around with all different sorts of shapes and you can also adjust the colors for basically anything, which is what's gonna make it really cool and custom. And then under each animation, when you're in this extra settings menu, there are different things you can do. So all of the settings are quite different depending on which art you choose in the first place because they all have different styles. So we could go into one like this and open the settings and you'll see the settings are quite a bit different than what we were just looking at before. You can always edit the colors though. So mine's in sort of black and white at the moment and that's just because my website has a very grayscale color palette, but this will take on the colors of your color palette. So you can use your palette colors here or of course you can also add in anything custom, which is pretty amazing. So you can actually do a ton of different things with these. At a glance, it only looks like you have seven options, but actually there are a lot of options once you dig into the settings. So definitely have a play with those background arts. This is almost like a little hidden feature that I don't think Squarespace really made a big deal about announcing, but it is pretty darn cool. So definitely have a play with it. And that's pretty much it for adding parallax to your Squarespace 7.1 site. So we had the coding option. We had the background image effect option, which is probably the closest you can get without coding anything in. And then just for fun, I threw in the background art to for you to have a look at. So there are a ton of options for getting some movement into those backgrounds that don't require you to revert all the way back to Squarespace 7.0 just for that parallax feature. So hopefully you found something that you can use here. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and thanks for watching. Bye.